Hi though. I just realized my video capture device doesn't want to work, so that's cool. How are you guys? Hey, Kuro. Hey, Kale. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you wanna you wanna work? Maybe capture card. Thanks. Thanks. All right, there we go. Hey, we got we got pictures, guys. It happened. Spoopy tombs. What is going on? Now do the thing. It is time to do the thing. I'm gonna finish up the sketch for Riarcros real quick, and then we'll uh, line art Kales. I think, cause I got line art to do. Although I have to do sketches for um, I have to do sketches for Tristan's too. Um, we're gonna sketch for a little bit, and then we're gonna do line art. I guess I don't remember what I named the stream now, so it was probably something to do with line art. Oh, bur while well, we're burning the world. Oh, sorry, I completely misjudged what it was you were asking me to do. <laughs> so. Yes, grind for those scraps. You get your thing. Get your bows. Or no, it was uh, it was an outfit trunk, wasn't it? Oh, we need a good picture of a horse. Horse just like standing would be good. Or, yeah, I just need like leg position. I think these funny little, funny little raptor horses. everybody's day going. It is Tuesday. There we go. You finally obtained Sheeb? Good. I did not see. Which Sheeb did you, uh, did you obtain? My, uh, my supervisor got these funny little, um, they're, like, melting, they're these melting unicorns, right? Um, and there's, like, a bunch of different ones, too. He got, like, a unicorn, and there was, like, a shark and a Christmas tree, but it's, like, this putty. It looks like silly putty. And you can mold it, and there, it comes with a little plastic piece. I'll just show it to you guys. Yeah, so it's this gross-looking unicorn, right? And you can stick, you can like stick the little like the you know the body and the mane, and the tail, and everything. You can stick it into it, and then the putty over time just melts into like a puddle. And we were like fucking around with it today, and I don't remember what that had to do with anything. But oh, I remember what it had to do with anything. Um, the way I molded it made it look like a sheep, and I should have taken a picture, but it was really lumpy, like a sheep. But it's quite delightful. Um, it's pretty fun to like put it in things to let it melt. Hey, Lurker Matt, how's it going? Um, it's kind of fun to like put it back inside the container to let it melt because then its like face gets all square and it's kind of amusing. Um, so that's a thing that happened today. I played with that. Oh, you got a flappy and po uh, flappy and pokey cord. Awesome. I don't really pay too much attention to that pokey cord thing. Like, it's not visual enough for me, so I got really bored really fast. Have I been? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm doing all right. I took my first self-defense class today. That was pretty cool. I learned a bunch of stuff, and I'm going back tomorrow for another lesson. So uh, he suggested coming back as soon as possible. So I was like, can I come back tomorrow? Because I don't want to sit in rush hour traffic, mostly. And he was like, yeah, dude, come in. He didn't say dude. He just said come back here. So... Yeah. I don't like sitting in rush hour traffic. I feel like I'm wasting my day when I sit in rush hour traffic. So I thought it might be fun to do something like that, that I could, um, you know, that I could do just for like a half hour until rush hour calms down. So it takes me about 20 minutes to get over there and I take all back roads so I'm not fighting the highway and then I can just go home right after.
I'm trying to remember where like the cutoff on the back legs is. I learned how to punch. I got to punch. And to kick. I learned how to kick also. I was a lot better at it than I thought I was going to be, so that's a good start, I would say. For the most part, I don't really like fighting, so I was afraid I wasn't going to be very good at it. <laughs> Yay, violence. Yeah. I'm hoping that it does start to get a little more intensive, though, because, like, I was fully expecting to be really tired and to need to take, like, a shower when I got home, and I didn't even get a little bit sweaty, so... And that was kind of what I wanted, because I, I hate... Um, I hate just going to the gym just to work out. So I thought, well, if I can... You know, if I can get... Um, if I can do this... Um, words and things. If I could do this like frequently enough that maybe it could be like a replacement for a workout because I hate working out. Let's go that way instead. That was sort of amusing. Starting self-defense isn't super intense. You gotta build up your con stat. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I figured it wouldn't be, like, immediate. of a male Drask up here, because I actually haven't drawn too many adult males. And learn how to punch without breaking your hands and stuff. Yes, that that's very important. <laughs> drawn so many children. You know, I've drawn a lot of these guys as kids. One punch Axie, that's me. That's me. One punch Axie. Accurate. Hope not, right? The males are very fluffy. Drawing the fluffy is always good. Right, 
they have the they have the floof on their uh, That's kind of, that was maybe the highlight of my day, since the rest of my day kind of was, you know, work, and so it was gross. But, uh, yeah, so, interesting. That's uh, pretty much the most exciting thing that happened to me today. How about you guys? Did you guys do anything cool today? Anybody up to anything fun? It is. Playing WoW right now, not doing anything fun. <laughs> oh, yeah! That's right, the new Pogo came out. Yeah, the uh, fourth gen started today. I don't think they put out too many things, though, yet, right? Why are you playing WoW if you're not having fun? Serious question. Is it like a like a something you're trying to get? I saw them. Yes, people up in a delay. Delay, woo. Prediction. Yeah, I got a, um, I got the, the Chimchar and the Turtwig when I got home from work. Um, but I, I actually didn't see, I actually didn't see, um, Piplup at all, even on the nearby. I don't know if it's because it was, like, sunny today, so that the weather wasn't good for it, but... Starly, yes, that's right. Bidoof, Pidov... Bidoof, uh, Starly, Baneria. Oh, Shanks is out. Okay. Oh, did they change the skill trees? Interesting. I haven't played in a hot minute. It's been long enough that I didn't. I didn't know. I don't know what changes they've made. I never really got into, like, WoW for the game. Yeah, their silhouettes are almost identical. They're they're so similar. Oh, Kuro! The resub! You finally did it! It finally happened. Yes, get those... Yes, Coco, do it! Yes, get those happy Axie faces in the chat for Kuro. Thank you for six... What was that, seven months? Yeah, seven months. Seven sheebs. Look at you go. And now you can preview what the last month looks like, because now I have it. Thank you so much, Kuro. You're so good. I'm gonna tip her head up a little bit so she's not doing the Nala bedroom eyes, because <laughs> that's uncomfortable. <laughs> kind of on my list of no thank you. Got these resubs everywhere. Somebody threw off the 420 though. Oh my god, that killed me when I came back from the stream afterward and saw all those. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. <laughs> oh yeah, anyways, why didn't it read the message? Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna fix it right now, because if I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. Because I always forget. 
Alright, subs. Scroll down here. Resub messages. Text to speech. Enabled. And put the volume up. Like a lot. There. Maybe now? Come on, Axel Bottle. Why isn't it working? Hey, let me hit the tech. Let me hit the test one. I don't know why it's not working. Hey, Aubriel. Well, come and get that lot of love. I'm trying to figure out why my alerts aren't reading. I don't know. What is my favorite drink? I honestly don't drink that many... Like... Drinks. I, I usually just drink water. If I'm honest. I don't know why the text speech isn't working. All right. Um. I will. I don't. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what's wrong. I could, I could re-download Streamlabs, but... I tried Streamlabs OBS, but I didn't like it. I don't know. Something about it was different, and I didn't like it. Made me sad. Um, my favorite hard drink, I'm guessing you're talking like a liquor. Um, I like rum. I like fruity rum. That's about it. I like putting fruity rum in... Um, I like putting fruity rum in uh, Sprite, but that's about it. I honestly really don't like... Um, I also don't like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like alcohol that much either. I'm really boring about my drinks. <laughs> what about you, Kale? And anybody. What, are you, what, what is everybody's favorite drink? You have eight months before sheep. Yeah, I'm a verification token. Nine. YouTube crashed? What do you mean YouTube crashed? A good cup of hot cocoa with all- Oh, hot cocoa is good too. I'm really picky about my hot cocoa, though. Uh, my hot cocoa has to be, um, I don't know. It's gotta be, um, it's gotta be milk. I have to, I have to do my hot cocoa with milk. I can't. Why do I feel like this is gonna fuck everything up? No. 
I didn't ask to quit OBS. All right, last time. Okay, logging out of OBS did not stop it. Um, I have no idea why that's not reading. I don't know why it's not working. I have everything correct. I have it set up on Streamlabs to read it. The volume's up all the way. Spam security's off. I have absolutely no idea why it isn't working. I'm sorry, um, plushy. I'm sorry, Kuro. Is it a YouTube error? I assumed it was on your end. Yo, oh yeah, look, yo, yeah, YouTube's like totally empty. That's weird. Yeah, it must be, must be YouTube's end then, if everybody else is doing it. We were talking about hot cocoa, which I guess you are hot cocoa, so there you go. Coco Shanks, the hottest cocoa. Listen, you subbed the Axie stack a lot today. Mountain Dew, peppermint schnapps, and chocolate milk. Oh, chocolate milk too. Oh, oh my god, you guys are reminding me of all these things I haven't had to drink for a while. Yes, chocolate milk is also very good. I, I mostly just drink water because I can't afford the extra calories because I'm already a little bit chunky, and so I just don't drink other things. Yeah, I mostly just drink water, and then every now and then if I'm feeling fancy, I'll drink, like, alcohol. Or if I'm having a particularly bad day at work, I'll drink the alcohol. But honestly, for the most part, I don't... I mostly just drink water. With various, uh, squeeze things in them. I do like me some good squeeze. Grape squeeze. Orange soda squeeze. Those little squeezy jar things. The Mio drinks and such. We were just talking about those. Coco and I were just talking about that, like... 10 minutes ago. I want to make this just a smidge smaller. <laughs> Once had some hot cocoa that just had whipped cream, white chocolate flakes, cinnamon, and then the dude just stuck a stick of milk chocolate in. Oh, that sounds amazing. Uh, I'm really picky about my hot cocoa. If I'm going to do like the powdered hot cocoa mix, I have to do it with um, with milk. I can't do it with water. I don't like it. Iced tea all day, every day? Mmm. Yes, Aubrey, I'll get yourself some nice hot cocoa. Hot chocolate. Coco Shanks is gonna be so confused. <laughs> She's just like, yo. Stop saying my name over and over. <laughs> Also, if anybody in the chat knows why my bot is not reading, or why Streamlabs is not reading um, the text-to-speech things, that would be great. Because I would like to fix that at some point. But if you don't know, then that's fine. K-Cup hot cider? I have not had a Keurig in a hot minute. <laughs> my grandma got us, a hot, uh, got us a Keurig when I was in college. Uh, it was one of my Christmas presents. And when we... When I graduated from college, I let my roommate take it um, because she used it more than I did. Or at least I think that's how it happened. Maybe my grandma got us just cups for it. I don't remember. The point is, is I let my I let my roommate take it with her when she when we left college because I didn't use it that much. Like I didn't drink coffee. I don't I don't like coffee. So the only thing I was using it for was hot cocoa, and I don't really like hot cocoa with water. So I just let her take it. I was like. I don't, I don't need it. The robot uprising? Mmm, perhaps. Hot cocoa came from a Borders store like a month ago and they all closed down. Oh, Borders, poor Borders. Barnes and Nobles, on the other hand, is the best. Ice water first thing in the morning and right before bed, yeah. I just drink ice water all the time. I I hate 
that's part of the reason I hate winter so much is because I love drinking ice water, but you can't drink ice. It's hard. Well, not that you can't do it. It's that I don't have the same desire to drink ice water in the summertime, in the wintertime as I do in the summertime. Like in the summer, the first thing I want to do when I get home is drink a big glass of ice water. But when I get home from, from work in the wintertime, the first thing I want to do is go to bed. <laughs> Like I want nothing to do with I want nothing to do with water and ice water. Just, no, please save me. I need to live somewhere where there's no winter. Someday, that's the dream. I think those legs need to be a little bit thinner and a little bit taller. Let's just stretch them this way. I think that should be pretty good. Or speed reward. Obviously, in the win in the winter, you drink how water with hot cubes. Uh, ra oh, okay, ravioli. Gotcha. That. Yeah, that does sound. <laughs> if you've never had soup, that is true. That is number one. Soup. Gotta get the soup. Gotta get the soup. I made uh, chicken corn noodle soup so that I would have it for the week. And it was so worth the time it took to make it, which was not that much time at all. It was so worth, because now I just have soup. And you can never go wrong with chicken, with rotisserie chicken and egg noodles and corn. And I threw carrots in, so I didn't feel as much like a bad person. That's true. That is the definition of, of soup. It is ravioli floating in liquid. <laughs> Or noodle floating in liquid, more accurately. Also, hi, Minxie Face. How you doing? Also, hi, Arenas. How you doing? I just realized that you, like, showed up and I didn't even say hello to you. How's it going, guys? I'm gonna drink so much. Drink so much? Oh, I guess you're technically drinking soup. I'm gonna have so much soup this winter, because I'm cold all the time. I'm a wimp and I'm cold all the time, so we're just gonna drink as much soup as possible. Just soup forever. A whole cooked chicken left over, so I made soup with carrot, celery, leeks, egg noodles. Yes. We also put it. I, I did. Um. Um. What, did I, what else did I do? Finish up the last bit for lunch today. So Thanks, hamster. No, that's pretty much the same thing, actually. It was really hard to just to not just eat the chicken, <laughs> though, because I was just standing there, like as I was pulling the chicken apart to put it in the soup. The whole time I was like, I, just, I just want to eat the soup. I just want to eat the chicken. Just wanted to eat it. I love rotisserie chicken. I could eat a whole rotisserie chicken in one sitting by myself. It's so good. <laughs> you can send me a dumb thing your friend just shared.
I'd be interested to know where these uh, where these critters got their feathers from. I guess because they're part raptor. I just I don't know. they've got like horns and spots and but then feathers. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what is this? It's a Coke machine. Good typo. Excellent typo. IRL typo. That's exactly what it is. It's a real life typo. You guys ever done that? Like you're typing and you just your brain is just like, hey, what's a word? What are words? I don't need words. That's silly. What I'm using words right now? Nope. Not using words right now. That's not what's happening. probably a pretty accurate description of most people's brains. Just, nope. <laughs> Can't process that information today. I used to use whiteout or markers to modify the second O in the word cook on food labels all the time. <laughs> Did she also vandalize... Um, arcade machines so that they say they said uh fuck instead of puck that's a good timely joke nobody's ever heard that joke before that's a new one guys hot off the presses new joke never heard before no one's ever made the puck man pac-man joke <laughs> don't worry about it That's a good use of a whiteout marker. By the way, if ever if ever there was a good use for a whiteout marker, that's it. I think their heads need to be a little smaller, maybe. I don't know. One thing at a time. Actually, that's another movie we gotta watch sometime uh, that I haven't thought about in a hot minute is uh, Scott Pilgrim. I love that movie. <laughs> or at least I remember liking that movie a lot. We just need to watch movies, period. Yes, exactly. You are correct. Well, this Saturday I have no plans, and I don't have any plans to get overtired. So, on Saturday, we will watch movies. We will watch something. I think we should watch Hocus Pocus, because I love that movie. But... <laughs> that great movie. Yeah, I, oh yeah, it's not... It's by no means a perfect movie, <laughs> for sure. But I remember liking it a lot. That feels like one of those movies that, like, if you think about, like, the time that it was made in and whatever, that it was, like, pretty good. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, that should be the lineup. So we got bread makes you fat. Yeah. So we got eggies, bebus. We got kiddos, gangly teenagers, and then adults. And that's them. That's the lineup. Except it's really hard to see from this distance. But yeah, so that's them. Skittos. Skittos, skittos. Is kiddos official? It is. It is now official. Is it their version of puppies and kittens? It could be. He does always refer to them as the kid, the kiddos, so it could be. I need to figure out how to get my computer screen to be less, uh, glare. <laughs> That'd be good. Alright. Alright, let's do this portrait real quick. I'm just gonna just zip through this real fast. Actually, I feel like I started this. Never mind. I'll do this. I'll do this one on Thursday. I feel like I started that. <laughs> Or I feel like I started that, that at work, maybe. So I guess in that case, it, it is time for kobolds. Not dancing sheep, kobolds. Gotta outline the kobolds. You guys are getting a nice dose of line art today. Plans to watch the stream's recording later, so maybe you'll get your answer. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, definitely. Uh, hold on. All right, cool. Work's dumb. Work stuff is dumb. All right, let's color. Let's let's line out some kobolds. I've been attempting to text my friend and uh, my supervisor, who are both in China for a trip right now, um, for a business trip. I've been trying to, like, text them today, but, like, cell phone coverage is weird when you leave the country like that, because they both have, like, a data plan that lets them text outside of the country, but at the same time, like, um, at the same time, sometimes the outgoing messages aren't, like, sending, and sometimes... So, like, I haven't gotten texts from one person for a little while, and it's weird because my supervisor can text me, but she can't text her family, so I don't, I don't understand how cell phones work is basically what I'm saying. Animal housing music can get surprisingly unnerving. Yeah, right. You have 180. Oh, no. I wonder if I have any. If they're new, I probably don't. In fact, I probably sold them. But let me look and see if I have any. We're gonna get distracted again, real quick. I think this is an acceptable solution to the fact that I want to rub my nose all the time. Is just to press my face against my hand against it and just. No, I'm not rubbing my face. Don't worry about it. Because I do. I have this compulsive need to touch my face all the time. Is it a material or an other? Is it a tattered interloper scrap or a ragged skirmisher scrap? Because I have five. If you want them. Did you see that message for like one second there? You didn't look at that. Your that text, the message right underneath chess is that says, "Yep." For some reason, there's no mod icon, no sub icon, and no gift icon, and that's fine. 
Tattered Interloper, so it's the little brown one. I have five of them. You can have them. I'll do it after the stream, though. But yeah, you can. I have five of them, so they're all yours. I don't know, maybe you could give me, like, food for my dragons, because I can't feed them, because I never have enough seafood. And I also don't have the patience to play this game anymore, so... I hate grind. One of my least favorite things in video games is having to grind. I hate grinding, and so the fact that, like, the only really good way to get food and stuff for a large cave of dragons is to play the Colosseum, I get really bored really fast, just you know, slash eliminate, slash eliminates, you know, I just, I get tired of that. So I, I, I never want to play. <laughs> I love the art style of Flight Rising and I love mostly everything about it. It's just the, the fact that the only real way to get food is through, is through the Coliseum is, is hard for me because I don't like the grinding aspect of it. I hate sitting there and just hitting the same buttons over and over. Fucking mood. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, Kuro just, like, took their clothes off. Just like, nope. You don't need to know who I am. I don't need my moderator uniform. Get out of here. Oh, I have this special button that says that I paid Axie money to exist. Nope. Don't need it. Get out of here. Did something happen when you checked your browser? Um, I don't know. Did something happen when I checked my browser? Oh yeah, why is my desktop audio off? What the fuck? Oh, actually, hang on, let me... Ah, that's what it is. Um, I keep- I rebound one of the keys on my, um... On my mouse to, um... Swap the scene from... The current scene to the raid outro. Um... So that I don't have to break eye contact to fiddle with all the buttons. I can just look at you guys and be like, yo, I'm peacing out for the night. Um, but I bumped it by accident. I guess it mutes the... Um, it, it, it must mute the desktop audio when I don't have it in... Like when I have the when I have OBS in studio mode, it looks like it just mutes the desktop audio. Which is fine. I just have to remember not to press that button. So yes, that is what happened. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it because I'm not used to using like key bind like custom key bindings like that. That's true. You yeah, I can I could pay you to fight for me, except that I also have no money, but Yeah, that was the thing that got me with Flight Rising. I wish that their Flash games were a little better, because I had a lot of fun with that on Neopets for a while, was just playing the Flash games. I'm pretty good at Neopets Flash games, to be honest. And I wish that Flight Rising had better Flash games, and they weren't stupid about their, um... I wish that they weren't stupid about, um... Like, how much money you could get per day from it. Because that turned me off of the games really fast. I really liked the puzzle game, but when I couldn't play the puzzle game, like, all day, then I didn't want to play it anymore. It was like, what's the point? I'm going to get 75,000 gold. Like, what can I buy with that? Nothing. I can't buy anything with that. <laughs> Nobody's even going to have Flash games in a couple years. That's fair. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> You are not incorrect. I did give you the stinky feet feathers. I wish I liked them more because I like the little mask it gives, or like the little feathers behind the ears that it gives you, but I just didn't like the, the like, wind. No, nah, it's fine. I, I don't, I don't like the game enough to want to keep doing it. <laughs> Because I, I could, like, what, feed my dragons for, like, another couple weeks, and then, and then what? You can reach the cap in under an hour if you get good at it. Um, I used to do that thing with the puzzle game where you could stack the puzzles in a pile, and the puzzle pieces in a pile, and just snap them together by spamming the left-click button. 
And now you can't do that anymore because they fixed it. Because they realized people were doing that. <laughs> Once Adobe stopped doing it, Flash is going to disappear pretty much everywhere. They already killed the Adobe, Fa uh, Adobe Flash. Well, sort of. <laughs> it was really funny, actually. Um, Adobe was like, hey... Uh, so we're not gonna have Adobe Flash anymore. We're not gonna have, like, the Flash, um, CS whatever anymore. So Flash is dead. And everyone was like, oh no, what will we use for animation now? And then they just released Adobe Animate. And it was like, this is the same thing. It's just a different name. Like, like, Adobe was so proud of themselves. They were like, oh, look, we're going to release Adobe Animate. And I'm like, it's still Flash. It's, yeah, Flash is trash. You are correct. Does anybody really even use Flash, like, professionally? Like, I don't know what program... Like, I genuinely don't know. This is a genuine question. I, I genuinely don't know what program companies like Disney use. Or, like, whatever. Like, who uses Flash? Flash animations always look real shitty. Or if it's like a good Flash animation, like the kind that you see on like Newgrounds sometimes, even those, like you can tell they were made in Flash. They have like a really specific like look that they have, you know? So like even the pretty decent ones, they look, you can tell what they did it in. So there's a Peruvian llama, yes. Game. Oh, oh, that's true. I guess game devs would use it. The program that would import a Flash animation into a game so they use it for UI. The UI in Skyrim was made in Flash. Interesting. I did not know that. You got a Twitch error? Hmm. Um. I think Daydragon said that she was having some trouble with the Twitch error also. Is it, um, well, you can't hear me now, but are you back? We're back. Welcome back. Yeah, Daydragon said she was having trouble with a Twitch error also, that it was given her like a, the Twitch machine has broken or whatever message just for no reason. Hello again. Welcome back. Is it My Little Pony Friendship is magic animated in Flash? Is it animated in Flash? Well, I don't know anything then. I'm not an animator, so I don't know jack squat about anything. Animation is like this weird little beast that like I know just enough about to like make my make my pictures make sense, but not enough that like I can make a thing move. The best I can do is little gesture drawings, like frame by frame gesture drawings, and that's about it. I can't do anything past that. I don't I don't even know the first thing about refining an animation. Well, hot damn. I apparently don't know any of the things. Lots of early to mid 2000s cartoons use Flash is a lot less common. Wow. Yeah, I don't know anything. <laughs> this just reinforces the fact that you guys should never listen to me because I don't know anything. <laughs> I'll give you that weird little cut off cross arm. There you go. Yeah. So just don't. I'm. I'm. I'm a bad influence. Don't listen to me. But I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're having fun listening to me talk about things I don't understand. assumed it was some other program because like the difference between a you know a TV like a Cartoon Network cartoon and you know I don't know so I like, so, like something you would find on Newgrounds the diff it's such a big difference in the appearance and it's not that one's better than the other or that like flash animations on Newgrounds are bad it's just they have a different style to them and they don't look anything like the kind of cartoons you'd see on TV it is I don't know. I I guess I 
I just always assumed that it was something different because of that, that, like, the reason that Newgrounds animations look the way they do was just because of the technology that was being used and not the particular style people like to use for it. Like, I just assumed it was a limitation of the, of the, um, of the software. You know, I felt like it would be really hard to replicate Flash style in another program, but I don't know. Interesting. I know, <laughs> I know people frown upon using um, Photoshop for animation. That I know. <laughs> and also, if you have, um, uh, I think it's CS6. I'm pretty sure you can't even, you can't even do it because it crashes so frequently. animations use a lot of the squash and stretch animations because it's so easy. Oh, that's true. Real talk, I never got salad fingers. I never really understood the whole salad fingers thing. Like, I've watched it, I just don't- I don't understand, I like it. It's a mystery to me. never really got the whole hype around don't hug me i'm scared i like it, it was sort of funny the first like the first episode was kind of funny and then i didn't really follow it after that i saw the one with the clock but i don't really remember much after that there are quite of those popular like you know things that were popular at the time like those kind of flash animation deals that I I never really got into for some reason it wasn't that they were bad I just never really got into them and I don't I'm not sure why Unity's the big thing for games now, right? That's the that's the big one everybody uses. Even even 2D games I think people are making in Unity if I remember correctly. PHMIS is basically a criticism of modern TV for young kids with less than stellar messages and overabundance of advertising. Ah. That's what you use? Gotcha. I remember Game Maker was kind of popular for a little while, and then I, I don't know if that died off. I knew how to use Game Maker a little bit.
Is it bigger? I haven't heard anything about it. I mostly hear people using Unity. Do they need belly buttons? Do these guys have belly buttons? You should make a game with, with me with kobolds. Oh, you do not need me to make games for you. <laughs> I knew, um, I knew, um, I knew Undertale was Game Maker. I didn't know Hyperlight Drifter was Game Maker. I don't know. I just assume that everybody uses Unity at this point. No belly buttons? Okay. I had this, like, immediate reaction to want to put a belly button on them and then was like, wait, do they have belly buttons? I don't think they would. They're lizards. Do lizards have belly buttons? I had to, like, think about it for a minute. Which is a dumb thing that I needed to ask myself because they're lizards. So there's, like, no reason they would have a belly button. Do people use RPG Maker anymore? I think somebody told me RPG Maker is kind of like if you know how to use it, fine, but like companies won't bat an eye if you know how to use it. They're like, wow, great, you know how to use RPG Maker. <laughs> Mostly because you've been using it for 15 years. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, if you if there's no reason to learn another program, don't do it. If you can make a game perfectly well without needing another piece of software, do it. A game just came out for the NES, really? Interesting. I guess people will use anything. Tons of Nintendo eShop games are made with RPG. Oh, really? Dang, it, that shows how much I've been keeping up with anything. <laughs> Look at you guys learning me some stuff. It shows, it shows you how much I read. <laughs> you guys working on any big projects right now? We're still kind of fiddling for now. Alicia sketch. Yeah, Inktober. Hey, I'm actually doing something relevant to Inkto Inktober for once. Look at us go. Here, I'll zoom out so you can see what we're working on. We're working on uh, kobolds. I got a turnaround commission of some kobolds that we're, uh, we're coloring in. Let me drop the center. There we go. Hey, there you can see it. Yeah, so I'm doing a turnaround for Kale the Quick. Um, I have a kobold character and then some variants so they can make some 3D models out of it. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. How are you doing today, Alicia? Kobolds for your game, yes, your game that you are making, potentially. Good, good, excellent. Are you working on some Inktober stuff, Alicia? Thank you so much. I'm glad. Sometimes I like my art. Sometimes I don't. Most of the time I do. Thank you. Also, what are you working on? Would you like, would you like to share? I like when you guys share your artwork. <laughs> enough, I guess. Yeah, tail. That's how tails work. Don't worry about it.
Getting transcripts is fucking annoying. <laughs> oh no, what are you getting transcripts for? What does that even mean? <laughs> Working on something for the word swollen. Oh. That's a very particular word. <laughs> Is it like a prompt list you're working off of? I haven't done like a real Inktober before. I never have the patience for it if I'm honest. Like I'm always like, I, like after like day three, I want to stop. <laughs> I can never keep up with it. Also, I always have too many other things to do. So it's a good thing we're doing line art today. And for some reason, I can't draw hands upside down. So let's flip the canvas this way. <laughs> I can draw some handies real quick. Show new friend the sheebs. Okay, we will show new friend the sheebs. In fact, I'll show everything we were working on today. Um, well, not today. In the last couple weeks. So this is like the current batch of commissions I'm working on right now. We got Aubriel and her kitty. And we got uh, Dancing Sheeb. Young and sweet. Only seven-ish. Uh, cobalt sheet, which I have not saved in a hot minute, which means I should do that. Um, I feel like I have an updated version of this. But there's this. And then, uh... Uh, that. Nope. That. Yeah. That one. I think they might need more teeth. Okay, I can get more teeth. Found it. What did you do with Oh, yeah, uh, that's, not, that's the one Kuro wanted me to show you. Was the key? Was the thing? Oh yeah, that looks like an RPG Maker game. <laughs> uh, cobalt heads. Thank you for the follow, Alicia. Welcome to the Axie Stack. I appreciate that. Welcome. Uh, if you think they need more teeth, I'll just add them in the line art stage. I'm not going to go back and revise the sketches now. I'll just make sure I make them toothier. Okay. I will uh, first let me grab the references and then let's look. The baby crocs. The is the bottom right a cob uh, cobo Yes. Yes. Uh, Kale requested that I make one with horns that kind of looked like axolotl fins, so or axolotl gills, so I did. I don't know which reference you're looking at. Guess you didn't send it. Okay. Well, I will add. I'll make them toothier. Don't do not do not fear. I can add more teeth. More teeth is a thing that I am able to do. Uh, by the way, Alicia Sketch, if you are interested in sharing any of your artwork with us, we do have a Discord. Um, if you are interested in Discords, if not, I totally understand. But uh, we do have an art channel in there if you want to ever share your work or just hang out with us. Just so you are aware. Axel Bottle will probably also tell you about it at least six times during this during this uh, stream. So, you know, he's, he's very good at reminding everyone. <laughs> that figure looks incorrect. Hang on, let me... I flip my canvas upside down because that doesn't look quite right. <laughs> I gotta 
to flip the fingies. Flip them around. They are too... They're facing the wrong direction. Clawed hands are really hard to show from the front for me. In general, they're fine. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> Here, before I do the front view, so like... So do you want me to add, like, individual teeth to these, or... So, like, you know, if this guy's mouth is... Like, this currently, do you want me to add, like... Like, actual teeth? So do you want their, their mouths to be more jagged? Because I can make their mouths more jagged. I didn't make the turnaround itself jagged because I wanted it to be kind of like the base model. Like I didn't want to exaggerate its features too much, but the side views and stuff, I'm, excuse me, I'm totally down to make them super, super duper jagged. I've seen signatures that look like my mouth, that mouth. I feel like my signature looks like that mouth. The worst thing is when you go to a, like, um, I don't know, like, what, uh, like, like, the worst is, like, when you have to sign for a package, because this, their little signature pad never works correctly. Um, I went to the post office after work one day, and the guy that owns the post, like, the, the supervisor of the post office or the manager, he knows me because I keep having to go after hours to pick up my shit because I can't get it from the post office near my house after work, um, because they close before I get home. And so I just go up to the back door and knock and he lets me in and every time he's just like, just scribble on the notepad. Cause the little, the little stupid handheld pad thing, it doesn't like register the stylus well enough. And so my signature never looks like anything. And so he's always like, just, just scribble. It's really funny. Some of them will have the teeth poking out. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Sent you a Discord message. Okay, I'll check it in just a second. So, Kale, I know you do 3D stuff, right? You you do 3D games. Do you ever do 2D games? And then also chess. That was the two questions I had. Chess, do you... Uh, what kind of games do you usually make? Because I don't think I've seen any of your game stuff before worse at Walmart's grocery pickup system. You have to sign your name with your fingertip. Oh, that's the worst. More badass heads with a few teeth. Okay, yeah. You have this power. Yes, yes, you do. You've showed off this power many, many times. I mean, I'm so interested in, like, the fact that you guys can do things. Like, I'm, like, uh, I love meeting other artistic people and getting to see what they make and, like, seeing other people's stuff. I swear they don't watch those giant iPod touch things, right? We had we had iPads when I worked at Babies R Us, and yeah, they were like the worst. <laughs> I was always cleaning them because like people never wanted to clean them, and babies are the worst. So <laughs> I have to remember that there's a delay on the stream, and that I should not change topics within 30 seconds because then you guys are like behind by a little bit. Try to make some 2D games, not my thing. Started with Ocarina, started gaming after Ocarina of Time, so you're a 3D guy. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured you would have the, the skill to do so, but not really your thing. That's like, I, I can, like, if you give me, like, ZBrush or something, I can sculpt a little bit, but it's not really my thing. I don't really enjoy 3D modeling that much. You made Missile Command in, like, two hours one time. That's awesome. I feel like everybody has their thing that they're like a, like strong at. Could XC Z brush? Please don't. Like, please don't. <laughs> there's a uh... there's a reason why don't buy me things as a rule on the Discord. <laughs>
Oh, really? Oh, shoot. That person's like the worst outside of Flight Rising, too. Hot damn. Very salty five me. Yeah. Pixel artists mainly do 2G games. I think I posted the NES Splatoon video. Yes. Yes, you did. You did show the Splatoon. Now that you say that, I remember that that was yours. Yes. That's really cool. Killed Make Me X Brush. You're just gonna program a game for me. <laughs> Listen, I like when you guys make me things, okay? Making me things is really cool. <laughs> and monetary gifts are always appreciated, but it's not necessary, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Help me to live. <laughs> it's fun making things. Making things is fun. Just because I'm an artist doesn't mean I don't like getting artwork. Like, actually, did I show you the thing I got? Hang on. Let me show you. Oh, Hale. Hale, thank you for the biddies. Hang on. Let me show you the thing I got. Like, here. I got this cool-ass pin on Etsy. He's a little, he's a little, a little shiny whoop. And he's very good. And the artist is ShatteredEarth.com. And their stuff is really cool. Like, I love getting artwork from other people. I would, I, I really want to get more artwork for my house and I would love to like, one of my friends from college did really nice paintings and I wish that she had more paintings on her Etsy um, because I would love to buy a painting of hers and hang it in my house. I might even commission her to do that at some point. He's so tiny. He is a very tiny small boy. I've also released a couple mobile games, although they're no longer available since the iPhone developer program is $100 per year. That's dumb. I mean, I guess that's like... I don't know. 100 divided by... What's 100 divided by 12? It's like... Eight dollars a month. Still dumb. <laughs> a florgis with a hockey mask and a machete. Uh, on Saturday I will. Don't forget, I'll do it on Saturday. Speaking of this deck Saturday, I'm planning to do sub sketches. Um, so you guys, just so you guys know, um. First of all, because we I think we've crossed the threshold of me having been an affiliate for a year because my little badge icon in chat changed. Um, so that. And then also, um, I just haven't done Stack Saturday in a hot minute. So uh, on Saturday, I will do sub sketches and we'll just doodle for two hours and then we'll watch a movie and I'll actually commit to life this time. <laughs> and I won't slack off and let my anxiety get the better of me and we'll just we'll just do the thing. So it'll be fine. Post something for badge viewing? Or to badge viewing? What are we watching? The emoji, please no. <laughs> um, I think if we, I think we're gonna watch um I don't know. I gotta figure out what you guys wanna watch. I, I'm, I'm thinking uh, we have two days of Halloween left, so I kinda wanna watch, I definitely wanna watch Hocus Pocus. Cause that's like one of my favorite movies. It's like my favorite Halloween movie. I have to watch it every year for Halloween. And if we don't watch it on stream, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like drag my friend to my house and be like, you're gonna sit here and my cat will probably not snuggle with you and you're gonna watch this movie with me and it's gonna be great. Give a key smash in chat so we can see the badge. Oh, yes, yes, yes. La, 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 la. That's what that translates to, by the way. That exact sound. There it is. It's tiny. I kind of wish you could see them a little better. If they were, like, slightly bigger. <laughs> you know? I get why they're not slightly bigger, but I wish you could see them. Intense eyes, but more intense emoji. Please, no. <laughs> I feel like if we were going to watch the emoji movie, we would want to do it just for, like, ironic purposes. Like, let's watch the worst movie that's ever been made. <laughs> I also don't know why I'm redrawing the hand when this is just the same hand that I pulled over here, so. Let's 
So that's the badge you get if you've been sub to me for a year. You get the funny little golden black axolotl. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, if you guys are sub to me and you have your Twitch link to your Discord, I have there's a separate channel for subs. I mean, it's not super active, but I do ask you guys important questions about what movies you would like to watch because that's one of your perks is that you get to choose the movies we watch. Subs always get the first pick. And then if the subs don't care, then I let the, the rest of the chat pick. But if the subs are feeling particularly like they want to watch a certain movie, that's what we do. Yeah, there they are. Super cute. They're a lot harder to see when they're small, though. Unfortunately. I've just been using them for other stuff. <laughs> Alright. That's three kobolds. Save. Oh, I got you. Oh, okay, Kale, I got you. I see the, the alligator kobold meme. Yes. <laughs> Run away and alert the entire dungeon. Yep, pretty much. Huh. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. <laughs> it's not even my bedtime yet. I still have another half hour before I gotta go do the sleep thing. Have a lot of you guys been doing Inktober, by the way? I'm always inter just interested to see what kind of, like, themes people go with. I started doing uh, dragons as a theme because I wanted to try, try to kind of catch up on um, some world building stuff. And uh, that reminds me of something else I want to talk to you guys about, but I'm not going to do it right now. But um, I, I got bored and didn't want to line art anything else. <laughs> How much would players hate me if I started a D&D &D campaign in... In media's res? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't play D&D. &D. I know very little about D&D. &D. <laughs> oh, totally same, Aubrey. Uh, yeah, sometimes I just have a hard time. Let me... Uh, pull up a thing, actually. Um, I don't know how long it'll take me to find it. Give me a second. Oh. Breathing exercises definitely help me. Um, it's a lot of talking to yourself. For me, it's a lot of talking to myself. Reminding myself that, you know, it's, that it's my anxiety that's doing it to me. I think I think my anxiety I got a little bit more under control once I realized that it was a disorder and not just my brain being dumb. Um, once I realized that it was something that was like an actual medical problem, that's what got me. So that's like what helped me out at least. Um, a lot of the same kind of like um, Uh, hey, Kuro, this link I'm about to send is on your blog. Is it okay if I send it? The permalink came from your blog. Uh, breathing exercises definitely help. Um, I can grab another, another person's blog name if you don't want me to post it from your blog. 
uh, breathing exercises. Like, so like a lot of it's like if I'm having a really bad anxiety attack, it's sitting down and breathing really deep and just being like, it's okay, your brain chemistry's messed up right now, everything is stressful, it's okay to be stressed out. And I guess kind of doing that like positive self-talk, which is really hard when you're stressed out. When you're anxious, your brain wants to be in total full panic mode. Um, so that's, I know that's hard. Gad runs in your family. A really good thing to do, honestly, like, I don't know if you go to therapy, but, and I would recommend this to anybody who has anxiety. Go to therapy at least a couple of times um, and see if your therapist has, like, I didn't find therapy super helpful. Um, I mostly just went and cried for an hour and then hated everything, and it never made me feel any better. Um, but going did help because my therapist was able to help me identify the specific issue I was having, and prescribed me medicine like told me like go well she didn't really prescribe me medicine she said go to your family doctor and say hey my you know psych because she wasn't a psychiatrist she but suggested I talk to somebody and was like uh talk to my family doctor about it and recommended a a drug and was like yeah let let the doctor know that this is what I was thinking but since I'm not licensed I can't give it to you and then see what your doctor thinks, and he agreed and, and got me on a medicine, and now it, it helps a little bit. It doesn't fix it, for sure. Um, I still get anxious all the time. You know, it, it, life is hard. Life is hard, and everybody gets anxious sometimes, and I know you're having a particularly hard time. Yes, Kuro. This is actually Banjo-Kazooie. Hey, Kuro, I want to post a link to a breathing exercise thing that you reblogged on Tumblr. Is it okay if I link your blog in, in the chat? I don't know if you've heard me. If you don't want your link, if you don't want your blog being in the chat, then I will um, pick a different, like, permalink, but I didn't want to link it and then you'd be like, oh shit, no, I don't want people to know where I live. <laughs> Even though your thing is nothing on here, but you, you, everyone lives on Tumblr, right? That's how that works? You're fine with that? Okay. All right, so that link I just posted, which is going to be like 30 seconds away from when I just said it, um, has a bunch of like GIFs of breathing exercises, and some of them are more useful to me than others. Uh, the first one is my favorite, the one with the little uh, the triangle that turns into the big uh, octagon. That's really cool, but uh, that one's my favorite. I have that one saved on my phone, so if I'm having trouble sleeping or if I'm having starting, if I feel like I'm starting to have a panic attack at work or something, I'll pull out my phone and just stare at that for a couple minutes and just let myself calm down. This is a, I just think this is really helpful. Um, that would be my best advice, though, is, you know, definitely the positive self-talk, and if you feel like you're about to start getting anxious, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things, like, I know it's easier said than done. It's a lot easier to say, hey, just stop and think about it for a second. You know, just calm down a little bit. It, but, like, trying your best to catch yourself when you feel yourself getting anxious and talking yourself down is really helpful. Um, you know, giving yourself those positive little reinforcements of it's okay. You know, you're, you're safe right now. Everything sucks, but you're at least you're safe. And, you know, you're doing the best you can and just talking to yourself and reassuring yourself that you are doing really the best you can. Because half the time that's what it is, is that you are just doing the, the your very best job and it doesn't feel like it's enough, but it it has to be, you know, you, you are doing what your body is allowing you to do right now. Um, and, and if you, and then let allowing yourself to get upset if your anxiety still comes and gets you, you know, if you've caught yourself, but then you still get anxious anyway, you know, reminding yourself that it's it's okay to get anxious, it's okay to be upset, and to 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 feel that way. You know, that's it's normal, I guess, is what I would say. That is my best advice. And if you think it might be a medical issue and not just like your standard, you know, run of the mill anxiety, I would say definitely go see a psychiatrist or, or a therapist of some kind and see what they think and get a diagnosis from an actual doctor and get medication because. That helped me quite a bit. I don't take the medication all the time now. Um, I take it kind of intermittently, but um, you know, I, 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 it, it helps a little bit, and it it can help, especially if I know I'm about I'm about to be in a really stressful situation. And honestly, there's things that 
I could take the whole bottle and I would still be stressed out about. Like if you made me, <laughs> this is, okay, this is the weirdest thing about my anxiety, right? I'm sitting here at a desk and I see you guys and I'm basically monologuing. I'm talking to people and I am in front of people talking and no, I can't really see you guys, but I'm talking and I'm comfortable. I'm completely comfortable. I feel like I'm talking to friends. I feel like we're just hanging out on Discord or hanging out on Skype, just having a conversation, chatting. And I love this. I love that I can come home after a stressful day at work and just chat with some friends for a couple hours. If you put me up on a stage in front of 10 people, or you stand me in front of a classroom in front of a wipe off board with a PowerPoint behind me, I'm waterworks immediately. I start crying. I Something about the act of standing up in front of people with, I don't even know if it's like the note cards or the PowerPoint or what it is, but something about that is just so stressful to me. I can't do it without crying. And I don't know what it is. It's like weird. I, I don't, does anybody else have that? Like one thing that you're like super afraid of and you're like, but why? <laughs> like, another one that gets me all the time is um, like specifically how, like, how centipedes like i can handle any spider spiders are fine i the, the other day the window that's in this room which you guys can't see on the camera i could probably turn you guys so you can see it but um i have a window right here there's a there's this nice there's this nice window right here right that window had like 30 spiders in it an orb weaver got inside the screen somehow and she just had a whole bunch of babies and there were baby orb weavers all over my window and when the weather started to get nice i wanted to open the window in here on the weekends because it you know, the house gets musty after the winter or after the summer of having the windows closed, um, having the clo windows closed all summer because it's been a million degrees. I wanted to open the house up, but I couldn't do it because there were like 30 spiders in the window. So I, without even thinking about it, without even getting scared, I went and grabbed, uh, I went and grabbed a cup out of the living, out of the kitchen. I grabbed a little piece of cardboard and I just scooped every single one of those baby spiders into that cup and threw them off the porch. Like, I didn't throw them off the porch. I put them out on the porch. Like, I put them out in my garden boxes on the porch. And I didn't, I mean, there's a couple of them that's still in there that I missed that are now big. So I can get those out of there another day. But, like, it didn't bother me at all to deal with those spiders. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna deal with the baby spiders. But a house centipede? Fuck that. That house centipede could be this big and I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. You evolved to be wary when eyes are on you. That's actually not a bad point. That's, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Wish I had health insurance right now. Oh, oh yeah, health insurance would make things a lot easier. I feel like that could be half of it, honestly, is the stress of not having the insurance that you need, you know? That's stressful. Not having insurance is real stressful. I went through that the other week. Um, so I've been on my mom's insurance for the last, like, my entire life <laughs> and I turned 26 this year so I can't be on my mom's insurance anymore after my birthday and so I, w I went to my you know I went to the people at work and I was like hey guys I need insurance and they were like cool we offer insurance we'll send you the packet so I got the packet in the mail and then my life imploded so I didn't open the packet and the packet sat on my kitchen table for a month well I finally opened it the other week and they were and the thing says that you have a deadline that like I was I couldn't get insurance after like the insurance offer expired because it's like a open enrollment window with my job. So I couldn't get insurance through that company anymore. And I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do for insurance? Luckily, because I'm getting kicked off my mom's insurance on my birthday, um, or near my birthday, um they um I called the company that uh, that provides my job's insurance and was I, they were like, Oh yeah, we can totally um we can totally add you after you're off your mom's insurance. And so like, I got it taken care of, but the like the couple weeks that I didn't think I was gonna have insurance after my birthday was real stressful. So that's probably just like one big factor there. <laughs> Used to be like that with singing, you could sing in choir, no problem but for the longest time. I couldn't even sing to my friends. Singing? Oh yeah, that's right, I'm 35. I, I don't know how I'm still on my mom's insurance when I'm 35, though I'm turning 36 this year. And for some reason, I'm still on my mom's insurance. It's really weird, I don't know. It's, I feel like singing to your friends is like a more intimate experience and is a little bit more intimidating though. Like, I don't know, when you're singing to a large group of people, it's like, I don't know, like they're like an audience, but when it's your friends, it's like, 
they're right there and you're gonna get immediate feedback from them about it and like they can make like comments and it, that's kind of scary. I would say that's pretty scary. I hate the way spider moves. If they're not moving, I can cope, but as soon as they start moving. Oh yeah, the legs. Yep, for sure. Some spiders, some spiders freak me out more than others too. I learned to deal with spiders, actually. This doesn't help you at all with your anxiety, but this helped me with my anxiety over spiders. Um, one thing that really helped me out with spiders was um, conquering the you know rough discomfort that you get when you look at pictures of spiders on the internet and Googling every spider that I found. If I find a spider and I don't know what it is, I'm, I go on Google and I look up the spider and I learn what kind of spider it is and I read about it and that helped me overcome my fear of spiders because now I found them, now I find them kind of fascinating. Uh, one really cool type of spider is, I'm sorry, my nose is like really dry and itchy and I don't know why. Um, one type of spider that's really cool, uh, if you, you know, if you are not freaked out by spiders, <laughs> um, is the huntsman spider. It's this spider that's in the, um, in, I think it's in the UK. But they're huge. I mean, they're like big, like dinner plate spiders. And everybody always puts videos of, of them up there on the internet and like, oh God, I would burn the house down if I saw that. Oh God, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. But the thing about huntsman spiders is they're big, dumb babies. They're so stupid and they, they're more, they are 100% more scared of you than you are of them. Like they, they have no idea what's going on. And, and I think that's funny to me that like, they're these huge, I mean, they're like the size of your head spiders, but they don't, they don't know what's going on. They're just like, how did I get in here? This is a house. Where are we going? I need to get out of here. Like they don't, they don't understand. They, they're spiders and they're dumb. I, I don't know. That, I think that kind of amuses me that they're like these big scary spiders that you would think that you should be afraid of, but they're not, they're not dangerous. They can't hurt you or they, they wouldn't normally hurt you. Like they're more likely to run from you than they are to attack you. Unlike wasps, wasps will murder your face. The scor- oh, scorpions are terrifying. Kermit will play, hello. Welcome, do I sense a yellow, a fellow furry? I, sort of, yes. Um, I do not necessarily identify as a furry, but furries are more than welcome here. Um, I do lots of anthro art. Um, I don't personally identify as a furry, but that does not mean that I don't like furries. So, sort of. Yeah, poisonous stinger tail, little overkill. Yeah, yeah, right. Scorpions were like, scorpions was basically like God or whatever nature deity you believe in, like being like, all right, let's armor it and give it stabby things. Like, yeah. I'm furry adjacent. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. So, I, yes, sort of. The answer is kinda. <laughs> kinda a furry. But mostly, I don't know what label I would give myself. So, yes. <laughs> but hi, Kermit will play. Welcome. How are you? I'm guessing since by your by your phrasing, I'm guessing you are to a furry. Uh, would how are you? How are you doing? What is? I want to ask you what your persona is. Like I, I suddenly got excited. I was like, oh, more furries in the chat that I can see their cool characters. What did you make? What's your character? How how how's everybody doing? How's ah? Oh, I'm so excited. I get to talk. I had a really like shitty day at work, but I had a really good day after work. So I'm like I'm really excited about all the things. <laughs> Good realistic dragon and you love that art? Yeah, realistic dragons. These guys are kobolds. I'm gonna zoom out in just a second so you guys can see because I haven't actually zoomed out in a hot minute. Um, yeah, so we got, oh jeez. I know it's really itchy, sorry. I'm having, I'm having an issue. Uh, so this is a turnaround for Kale the Quick. Kale the Quick's hanging out in chat. Um, and, uh, and yeah, Kale, uh, needed a turnaround so they could make a 3D model of a kobold and for a game they're working on. So, uh, this is what I'm working on. This is what we're doing. Is that nostril just a big old flat hole inside of the kobold snoot? That's kind of how I see a lot of people draw kobold noses. So, yes, I guess. A lot, I don't know, a lot of people seem to draw the kobold noses that way. You know, like, they're like big holes. I guess some of them don't. I know it's not really how noses work, but that's how I tend to draw things. <laughs> Actually, yeah, speaking of... 
Kuro, Kuro's a good mod and grab the Discord link for you. Yeah, we do have a Discord. Uh, if you would like to share your art there and let everybody see it. Or if you just want to join the Discord and then PM me stuff, that's fine too if you're not comfortable sharing that with everybody. Also, let me see if I got my lotion. Ah, tiny bottle of lotion. I'm just gonna do... Reminds you of Aaron. Yeah. With those little, like... I always like the shapes on Aaron. Like, I like the little flat thing. Let me just be weird and rub lotion off my nose for a second. Sorry. I'm a crazy person. Whew. All right. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> We've started to reach that point in the year where I'm really, like, everything is dry. Like, I keep having to lotion my hands because I'm dry all the time. Like, I don't I don't understand how the air is dry. I live in Missouri. You are kale and you are quite powerful. You, you're an idiot and drank caffeine and it's crashing. Ah, that'll do it. My, um, at work, the, uh, the rule we have is to, um, the rule we have on our disc, uh, at our work, uh, there's actually a funny little sign on top of the coffee machine at work that says, do not brew after two. Um, so unless somebody is planning on pulling a very late night at work, they just don't make coffee after two o'clock um, because then it gets y'all crazy. And then the crash fucking sucks. So yeah, that could be it. But hey, you know what? Now you know, right? When things are cold, the air is less moist. I know, but I live in, I live in Missouri. It's like a swamp. It's not a swamp, I just live next to- I just live next to a, a river. That's mostly the issue. You know, Kermit, I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> um, I don't know why any of you guys are here, but I love you. <laughs> You're here, and I appreciate you. But- yeah, sometimes I'm like, but how? I don't even know what I'm doing half the time, and I'm like, the most anxious human being. If it makes you feel any better, actually, Aubriel, this will probably, I don't know if this will make you feel any better. It might make you feel worse. I don't know. I'm going to say it anyway. Like, the, the other day, I got really stressed out about stream stuff, because I was like, what if I'm not interesting enough? What if people don't really like hanging out with me? You know, sometimes my stream numbers go down, and I don't know why, and then, like, I have to keep stopping and reminding myself, like, no, people don't come to the stream because they're busy. Not everyone has time for you. Sometimes they have to do their own life things. Like, reminding myself that, like, this is, this is how things work. You know, like, so I don't know if that makes you feel any better, that, like, I was recently having anxiety about things that... Uh, things? About things. Just about things. Just anxiety. I came for the axolotl, stay for the brief window of human contact. That's me. That's where I come in. I'm a brief moment of human contact. I like that you came for the axolotls and now you're here all the time. I love it. It's so good. keep throwing money at you and get floof in return. That is also true. Summed up this community. Came for the axolotl, stayed, stayed for the face. Okay, so the only downside of the face cam is like, okay, so my sister and I do this thing, right? When we like FaceTime one another, that we like to get up real close to the camera. We like to be like, Uh, the problem with that is that this microphone only hears me from this si from the front side, so if I do that, you guys can't hear me making weird noises at you. <laughs> like, that's like the downside is that like I can't I can't like make weird noises into the microphone while I'm making faces at you because the microphone can't hear me. The microphone doesn't know that I'm speaking. <laughs> that's me. I, I, the face. Gotta head out, YouTube's back up. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah, totally check it out. Yeah, if you come back, we'll we'll be here. Um, I think my Discord name is the same as um 
my Twitch name. I don't really know how to give you a Discord name, so unless you join the server, I don't know how to Discord you, like, add you on Discord, but, um, I totally want to see your Sona. And if you're an artist, I want to see your art, too. I like seeing everybody's artwork. <laughs> like, when you guys share your artwork with me. So, yeah. So, enjoy Mark's video. See you later. We'll be here. I like so many Axolotl-related posts that Tumblr put your blog on the little recommended section at the top right. Just make the sounds really loudly. Oh, so if I get in like this, I could just be like, hey guys, how's it going? How's it going, guys? Did that pick up? I don't know if it picked up. Oh, there you go. You got me. There you go. Perfect. I don't typically add people for like chatting unless you're a mod or um, like I don't I don't have a lot of time to have private conversations with people, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, I'm super busy outside of stream time, but um, you can totally just PM me links there if you don't want to share them on the Discord. I totally understand the adversity to, um, you know, wanting to, if you know, if you didn't want to post on the Discord, I totally get that. Or if you just are in too many Discords. Discord's such a big thing at this point. I'm in so many Discords now. So many of my friends have Discords. It's hard to keep up with them all. <laughs> But yeah, go enjoy your go enjoy your video. We'll see you see you around. The audio picks up clearly if I shout into the webcam. That's good. <laughs> Did you take a screenshot of that? No, nope, you didn't. Slaps YouTube. This bad boy is causing chaos around the world by not working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the one time YouTube doesn't work, everyone's losing their mind. My nose is still itchy. I don't know what's going on. I always get this like this, like, itch, like, right on the outside of my nose, that, like, it's never on the inside, it's always on the outside, like, the outside of my nose always itches. I don't know if that's an anxiety thing, or if that's, like, just, I, everything hates me. I don't know why my body hates me right now. I don't know what I did. I didn't, des I don't deserve this. Here, I'll give this one a little tea first. If any of y'all are doctors, hit me up. Tell me. Tell me why my nose... Tell me why my face itches. Is that like a superstition thing? I know if your palm itches, that means you're supposed to... Be, you're about to get money. Or at least that's what my grandma told me. I know that's also a superstition. But still, it's kind of fun to think about. Oh, you know what? I just realized it's almost... Oh, I realized it's almost 10 o'clock. That's unfortunate. Specifically the right palm. Oh, really? So specifically the right palm. What does it mean when your nose itches? I don't know. Is there like a superstition behind that? Somebody talking about me. Is that what it is? Cocaine incoming? Oh, there you go. That could be it. I'm secretly doing cocaine right now. You guys didn't even notice. I'm not actually secretly doing cocaine. Twitch, please don't. Please don't remove me. Don't ban me. I, I'm not actually doing cocaine. My nose is just really fucking itchy because I'm a pleb. If your nose itches, the left one means you're gonna spend it, the right one means you're gonna get it. And if your nose itches, you're gonna kiss a fool. Oh, is that the case? Hmm. Not sure how to deal with that information. <laughs> Coco's the fool. There you go. That's it. Coco's the fool. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's us. A little bit gay. Uh. you with your little gay wormy. <laughs> it's definitely not a dick. Dear everyone who said that it was, it's not. It's a worm. It's also not a snake, it's a worm. It's actually funny that two of you guys have the same, have a worm 
in your theme somewhere. Like Coco's got all the worm. She's got all the worms. And then um, Lauren just put their. Uh, Lauren just put his sub badges in and uh, in chat, and they they have little worms on them too. I'm really worried those worms aren't gonna uh, aren't gonna render. So I hope they I hope they turn out good when they get updated uploaded because sometimes those sub badges don't look great because they're like literally 16 by 16. Your sister's birthday, you pulled a very small but successful prank. Does saying that's what that is? Prank? Nezzy, what's up? You have arrived. You even arrived like four minutes before the stream's over. I might stay up a little bit after just to try to get these guys finished up. But I can't stay up super late because tomorrow is going to be a very long day. In fact, I might even just go straight to bed after this because tomorrow is going to be a long fucking day. I pretty much have to restructure everything and be the acting, uh... The acting supervisor tomorrow, and it's just... Ugh. I have to be an adult, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Doesn't like envelopes sealed with saliva, so I told her that my mom had sealed the card with her eye, mimicked a dabbing with the eye, <laughs> and then showed her the flap of the card envelope, but it was sealed with an adhes adhesive googly eye. That's hilarious. Just seal it with a googly eye. Honestly, that's such a fun way to seal a letter. How's it going, Nezzy? How you how you doing? How's life? Smell your banana? Gotta smell the banana. Right? A anything anything touching the eye freaks me out. Like, do not want you good? Okay, good. That's good to hear. I'm eating all beef hot dogs. Mmm, delicious. Maybe that's what I'll have for dinner tomorrow. Hot dogs. I still have some pretzel dough left over. Pretzel hot dogs are so good. Kale busts down the wall. Oh, yeah! This song is on your normal playlist and spooky playlist and will probably be on the Christmas playlist because it's a winter level, right? It's awful from food. Delicious food. Oh, man, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm already thinking about it now. I'm like, ugh, work. finish this guy up here. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call it uh, soon. We'll get this guy finished up. Oh, man, we were having such a good time, too. Hey, one of these days I'll get free of this job, and then we can just stream all the time, and then I won't ever have to leave. It'll be great. There you go. All right. How do those look? How do those look, Kale? Are they toothy enough for you? Just gonna open up some, open up some shit in the background. And I will figure out why the sub badges aren't, uh, or why the sub alerts aren't working, because they should be reading the, um, should be reading the text. It's bad? Okay, cool. We'll just start over. That's fine. We'll just we'll start over. Alright, let me grab the raid message for you guys. That is the raid message. The Axie Sack topples in. 
The one with the taller jaw, can you try a single big tooth? The one with the taller jaw. This guy? Cool. Get them nice and toothy. All right. So that's the raid message. The Axie Stack topples in. If you guys want to grab that and attach any uh, anything you desire, any any emotes you want, all that good stuff. We're going to go say hi to Day Dragon because she is working on some Inktober stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and set that up. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me. You guys are so good. You guys are so cool. Um, I'll be, I will not be back tomorrow. <laughs> I almost said I was going to be back tomorrow. I'm not going to be back tomorrow. Um... For anybody who was not in the Discord and did not know, um, I made plans with a friend of mine to play Zombie Laser Tag this week. I thought it was on Sunday, for some reason. It turns out it was on Wednesday. So after work tomorrow, I'm driving to my friend's house uh, so we can go play Zombie Laser Tag somewhere. I don't know how that works or what happens, but I'm really excited. So um, it starts at 8, though, so I will not be here for stream tomorrow night. Uh, but Thursday, I'll be back at work on some more commissions, and uh, that's the plan right now. So I will see you guys on Thursday. Um, keep an eye on the Discord, though. I'll, uh, you know, be around. You guys are all the best. Uh, have a good rest of your day or a good rest of your night or wherever part of the day you are. Have a good one. Uh, let's go say hello to Day Dragon if you just want to stick around for a minute just to say hi to her and then you can head on out. Um, oh, sorry, Iodized Water. Yeah, I missed the stream by a little bit, so, uh, we're gonna go say hi to, we're gonna go say hi to Day Dragon. Uh, have a good night, guys. Bye! Nope, didn't work. Bye! <laughs>